All right, time for the bus stop forecast. Looking pretty good this morning. It is. It's nice. Yeah. It's a little cool. Are you, are you sick of us complaining? No, okay. I'm just used to it. I've worked with you guys long enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I, I complain about the heat for about right. three months of the year. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I want to complain so, that I'm not sure fall is really going to be. Notes. Yes. I mean, how we never get, we kind of get gypped on fall. It's okay. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll pass that on. Okay. Make it last. Yeah. But we have rain. We've had the rain. Yeah. We've needed. We don't have burn bands. That's true. You know, That's, there you like go. winter will really arrive way too early and yes. get another kink in the system. Can't stop laughing. We're so okay. negative. This I love what is going on? I'm glad you I'm glad you got that out. Okay, now I feel By better. By the next time, everyone's hey, going to be I happy. Yeah. We're going into the bus stop <laughs> forecast because kiddos, hopefully you're in a wonderful mood there on this morning. Hey, it is Thursday and we are dry. It's chilly right now. It is. The Oklahoma weather, it very rarely just follows suit with what it is that you're wanting to happen today. You have several dry hours before the rain moves in. We do need more moisture. It'd be nice if we kind of spaced it out a little bit, but it is coming later today. Here's your bus stop by 11 a.m. 55 by 3 o'clock 64, partly cloudy. Northeast wind today. There's a very slight chance that we get showers in the early afternoon. That chance bumps up into the late afternoon and early evening. And just for the kiddos and making big plans right now, it is that time of year where it's kind of do or die for a lot of the high school football teams rounding out the season. And it looks wet, really, for most of the state of Oklahoma. I'm taking you to Friday here for Friday Night Lights. Rain chances likely heading into the evening, at least off and on. It probably won't rain solid the entire time, but they'll be raining around in the state. Here's your rain timeline for today. So starting this morning, dry. We'll have some clear skies, some sunshine. Clouds start to roll in, thicken up. Rain chances go up into the late afternoon, evening, into the overnight. And we'll be around in the state coming up for your Friday. And from many portions of Oklahoma, your Friday morning commute does look wet. Now, flood advisories are in effect because it's too much water for portions of the state compared to what we've already had. You add those two rounds up, the 6 to 10 inches in localized spots, another four to five could cause some big problems. If the system right now itself is impacting portions of Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico. Winter storm warning for our far western panhandle. Schools are closed today in Felt, Oklahoma due to a snowstorm and here it comes making its way into the panhandle of Oklahoma and Texas. Meanwhile, a long way away from us here in the metro. We're clear. Patchy fog in low-lying areas possible, but still not seeing much in the way of that. Winds are a little too strong. 48 is our temp. 47 Guthrie, 47 in Newcastle. Low 50s down around the Red River. Low 40s up to the north. And there's your northeast wind. By the way, the wind chill is in the teens in the panhandle right now. You talk about winter. That's where it feels like winter. By noon, 58. By 3 o'clock, 64 degrees with, again, those rain chances going up late. So mid-60s is where we'll land. Upper 60s to the south. 50s for highs in the northwest because you've got the cloud cover now and you'll just see cloudy skies, gray skies for most of the day. The storm we've been talking about for the last week that has been impacting now the states to our west, the Rocky Mountains, it is coming. So here's your rain timeline. Take a look here on future next gen. Here's 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now we could have a few more of these showers coming into the southwest. 6, 7, knocking on the door in the west metro. And then lingering through the evening. Notice we've got dry periods in here. But the bulk of the heaviest of rain, those really oranges, yellows, and reds, that stays in far western Oklahoma and just trains through the overnight into the morning hours tomorrow off and on through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening it's ending in western Oklahoma rate ends in Oklahoma City tomorrow night into early Saturday and several inches of snow expected out in the panhandle this afternoon rain chances begin and then heading into the evening 100 percent chance into the overnight everyone wondering about a severe risk this time no one wants that early morning wake up call and that alarm that tornado warning the sirens we're hoping that we won't see that, and I'm telling you right now, it doesn't look like we will. We definitely don't want to do that again, and with this setup, that chance is just not there. So non-severe, with the exception of the southwest for wind and hail, not a tornado risk, but up to quarter-size hail and 60-mile-an-hour winds in the southwest. Tomorrow morning, looks wet. We're just going to keep doing this thing, 100% chance. Highs tomorrow in the 50s and 60s, and then the rain moves out tomorrow night. So totals, yeah, anywhere from 2 to 3 inches for the zone in light blue. In yellow, we could have three to four, locally up to five, maybe a few bullseyes of that up in the northwest as well. We'll have to see how this plays out. Then we dry it out. Your big weekend is completely dry now, which looks great. Lower in mid-60s, 70s early next week. Back to you guys.